Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. I thought I'll publish a quick bonus update given the market volatility. This is the election volatility I've been highlighted or I've been warning about or highlighted would likely happen at some point. Um, so this is not necessarily a surprise that we see this volatile price action. I wanted to start on the daily chart just briefly before we go to the smaller time frame. Daily chart, quick reminder thesis is that a fourth wave bottomed on the 5th of august which means we shouldn't go below this level anymore ideally we don't even break below support anymore at 53,768. these are the key parameters i would expect to hold because we have a five wave move up and that means the idea is that we are on our way to 100k okay um th these targets you know we will put some more specific targets on this roadmap when we get a better idea of how the microstructure unfolds but we need the first deeper pullback to do that so that means we are bullish here um, at mco regarding bitcoin if there is a pullback then it would be an opportunity um, we're currently tracking two support areas which might have to change i mean as you can see the price is pushing a little higher the current question is whether this is an extension now in wave one or three, you know, depending on which scenario is playing out. There's one scenario that allows for a wave four pullback and then another high. There's another scenario that allows for a deeper pullback in a wave two and then a rally. Um, and, you know, I have to look at the market tomorrow when the market has settled. Obviously now there's some uh, volatility that's come in and this gives us limited structure to work with. So when the market is settled tomorrow, I have to make a call whether this is a B wave rally, an internal B wave, and we are in wave four, for example, yeah. Or maybe, you know, we are still in one upside extension. As I said in the last videos, this is of course possible, um, but it would need to prove itself, right? And overall, we have to take a look at the microstructure to get a better idea of what's happening. So let's go to the um, shorter time frame. So here the idea was, okay, we might have topped, but we only had a three wave pullback, which generally leaves the door open for higher. But um, especially, you know, in terms of B waves, when the A wave is a three wave move, then the B wave can be very aggressive and can overshoot. We know that B waves can overshoot. I've added now the extended B wave resistance, which is located between 73,589 and 76,360. So in the last video, I highlighted to you that I'm watching for a rally into the 72 to 73K region. And then we just have to see where we are and if the market forms a top there. But the market did extend a bit further, um, pushed above the last high, which is not necessarily a confirmation that this is an extension in waves one or three, but we can still interpret this as a B wave rally. Why? Because it is a three wave move up so far. Okay. As you can see, um, we were watching for higher price. I mean, we had a target or support area here, which I've removed now. We don't need it anymore. And the price did also hold intraday support. I communicated and it, it turned into a rally, yeah, but only a three wave move. So I can still label that as an ABC structure. Now, if we are now holding the support area I added to the chart, which is located between 71,850 and 73,560, against this support area, the price can still extend higher. Um, but we've now obviously moved, right? If anybody wanted to trade this on the long side, the best approach was obviously to buy the blue pullback area that we had on the chart until yesterday um, or maybe even this intraday pullback which however was very shallow but then again trading b waves is always tricky as you know um, at the moment i can just tell you this looks like a three wave move at the moment well it is a three wave move if the market forms another higher low and another higher high then it would be a five wave move up and possibly an upside extension and it would look like this like one two three four five but again that's where why i said i need to look at the market in the morning when the market has settled a little bit um because yeah i mean like catalysts like news events like you know election night or something can obviously lead to some um, extreme movements so i wouldn't even rule out i mean b waves you know they shouldn't really break above the 1.38 um retracement so, but they can, okay, they can. So as long as it's a three wave move, 
this could be a B wave. So I have to, we have to see when the market has settled a little bit, but this entire week could be crazy. That's why I highlighted, you know, be, be ready, you know, for some volatility. But overall, the move here, uh, while interesting and we finally get some volatility, it doesn't change the expectations on the daily chart, which is obviously more relevant, right? So the overall bullish thesis remains unaffected. Rather, it supports it because it shows the, the bullishness of the market, but we are far from confirming um, an extension, right? I need, I need five waves up to rule out the B wave. It's as simple as that. That's why we have the support area. So in other words, it takes a break below 71,850 to indicate, to have a first indication that the white B wave actually has formed a top. Now, quick info, if this really is a fourth wave, in fourth waves, as you might know, if you're familiar with Elliott wave, overshooting B waves are quite common. And then again, just a reminder, during a week like this, waves can go into the extremes. But overall, that's what my thoughts are around the latest developments here around the structure. Um, it would be good for altcoins for Bitcoin to continue to the move, uh, the move more directly to the upside. But we can always assess the situation when we get the five wave move up, then I can give you the next support area as well. Right. But for now, there is a support area for direct upside extension, which, however, isn't necessarily expected. It's more like, OK, if we get five waves up, then it would suggest that we're dealing with an extension. Can't be a B wave, but we'll talk more about that tomorrow. That's the update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.